Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel OS VFX. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the folder animation in PowerPoint. When I click one, folder one that will open. Two, three, and four. So let's see how we can do this in PowerPoint in simple and easy steps. Add a blank slide. Go to insert tab, shapes, select rectangle, and drag the rectangle maybe till this point make it no outline and go to insert again select shapes and select this one which is a rectangle top corner surrounded maybe this size is enough rotate make it 90 degrees right shape outline no outline and i'm going to give a shadow which is this one and insert tab shapes select in the flowcharts delay just maybe this size is enough let's see and no outline and give as a black color rotate it which is horizontal and bring it here zoom it so that you can align it properly and send to back all right press ctrl d and bring this side here as well and say send to back all right so you can see the shape is uh, getting ready now you can change the color later on we can just do that part later let me just increase the size somewhat yeah i'm going to type say this is the folder one i'll just type one Change the font in this case I'm going to use the Oswald and text direction make it rotate all text to 70 degrees center align and bring it here if you have the icons which I have added the icons here if you have the icons I'll just copy from here or you can go to the nonproject.com and you can just download that one all right so i'm going to here you see here i have just uh, i have some more uh, designs uh, which i have just taken from my previous uh, videos you can just copy that one and put it here all right or that this part we can do it later as well I am grouping these objects, right mouse click group and go to format, just say align middle so that it will come perfectly in the, the middle of the slide, alright. And then I am going to select all and I am going to group it once again so the whole objects are grouped together now, right. I can add the, the remaining other three folders as well so I'm going to select this one press ctrl shift and drag it one more which is this one so for this I'm going to give some different color right again ctrl shift and drag it this will be our third again give some different colors And the last one just drag it again all right so we have got a one two three four just is a matter of changing the the numbers 
change the numbers and you can see there are some alignment issue just correct those issues okay we have added the text here now and the next step is to add these images for that uh, first of all uh, we will hide the others so you can just go to in the home tab select and selection pane and you can just see we have got uh, four groups here so this group these three groups i'm just going to hide this one right and then i'm going to copy this image onto this one all right you can just reduce if you want and select this group it and for this group i'm just going to give the name as folder one all right so i'm now i'm going to uh, unhide the which is okay, first of all i'll just say format send to back all right and the next one is the two which is I'm going to use this picture, copy and paste it here. Again, select this, group it, and give the name as folder 2. And just bring it down here. Alright. The next is this one, which is 3. I'm going to use this picture, copy and paste it here and again this two I'm going to group it and call it folder 3 and the last one which is folder 4 I'm going to take this plant here and paste it here alright and then group it and make it as folder 4 all right so you have got one two three four now i'm just going to add some lines here so that uh, that will be a guidance for me i'm just going to add the lines on each of this one i'll just show you and uh, we can just simply delete that lines later on we don't need that lines but why we need the lines, I'll just show you the reason for that. This will help me at the time of doing the animation. So I've just added the four straight lines here. Now I'm just selecting all these three fold, four folders and I'm just bringing the, this one something here. Somewhat. It's gone too far. Yes. Right. So what happens the animation now to give the animation when I click on folder one, it should come and stop this the first line. The two should on the second line, third line and fourth line. For that, I'm going to give the animation, which is the path animation I'm going to give. Go to animation, enable the animation pane. For the meantime, I'm just going to uh, close the selection panel. So this one in the animation select add animation and go down and select the end motion path line all right and then effect just say the left side so left side as i said this should stop at this stage all right so if you can see this arrow here all right if you see this arrow just drag this arrow and you should stop the line one all right the same thing again i'm going to set the second folder add animation lines and again effect i will say left side and i'm going to do the same thing select the and drag this point till here all right the third one let me just do the third one same add animation motion paths lines and effects left now i'm just going to set the third line third line is here 
and just till this part all right and the fourth one also we'll do the same animation left select the line and till this part yes now if you see here so if I click here it's coming here the first one the second one third one and fourth one so it should happen at the time of uh, when I click the folder one then the and the folder one folder one should move to do that one I'm just going to set the folder one double click timing and uh, timing triggers are there start effect on click on folder one all right and the same thing I will do for the rest of that one timing triggers on two this for third also the same thing and fourth also triggers on fourth now let's play now if I click on here can you see the the hand is showing there click that will move click second third and fourth so this lines now it's time to remove this lines I'm just deleting these lines press delete and you can just change the background color right mouse click go to format background and you can just choose as any color as you like here whichever color choose some good colors maybe this color or whatever color and then I'm just going to put some text here which you can type the text or you can just simply copy and paste it from here and go to format say send to back now let's see one two three and four so that's it from me friends hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel and share with your friends and see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye